Within Touch Chat Word Power, um, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to stop repeating repeated taps or when a kid is very intently pressing a button or an icon multiple times. And especially in Touch Chat, it'll just kind of say that whole um, message from the top window for a good couple seconds to a couple minutes, depending on how many times that button was pressed. Um, and so this is how to get that to um, stop. And this will help teams really, really learn how to um, make sure that the child is using the device without the team getting frustrated. Because a lot of times this is something that teams will come to me with frustration about. And I don't want devices to be taken away just because kids are kind of you know, using a button multiple, multiple times. So how you um, decrease this is I will show you what it looks like before and what it looks like after. So if you press a button multiple times, it'll say it multiple times. So for example, for open, 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 open. So you get the, you get the idea and this will happen sometimes for a very long time. And you see, I barely pressed it a couple times and it was already um, pretty intense. Um, so if you go up to the menu in the right hand corner and you go to settings, I just relearned this. I used to um, increase dwell time, um, which is more for an alternative access method to make sure that the button, that you have to dwell on the button a good amount of time. Um, that's for kids that have some complex body needs. And I used to, to say um, from what I learned that that was the way to go. But I just recently learned that something that's going to decrease that frustration for kids, because sometimes kids don't want to touch dwell time. So for example, Increasing dwell time meaning the amount of time kids have to hold their finger on a button. So this can be really annoying. So this is what you do not want to do is dwell time. Finish. They have to hold it on the button for 0.2 seconds or 0.1 seconds. And I have a colleague that we tried this with a student and it didn't work. It has to be very fast that it says the word. So going back to menu and settings. You do not want to change dwell time unless you have alternative access or other things to consider. So take that back to none. You want to look at release time. Release time is um, when you release the button. So um, I was suggested by Jason from PRC Saltillo to do about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to do 0.5 seconds. And so what this does is, if I delete this message, is it'll save a message instantaneously. Open open but when i try to press it a million more times it won't do that because it only activates when i release the button so it said it twice because i did release my finger the first time for it to say but right now if i set it again for example with help help it only says it once even though i want to press it multiple times so let's say i try to press it multiple times again help and it won't do that and this could be a really good way in touch chat word power and a new method that might work for an even greater number of kids just because it's not um, the slow um, feature of dwell time where it won't instantaneously say the word. So release time, um, again, it's in settings. And then if you scroll, scroll down to buttons, you have dwell time, which you do not want to change unless told otherwise by other people on the team, but you want to change release time and mess around with that and see how that works. And I hope this video is helpful.